welcome back for another episode of Free and Budget Campsites Queensland. My name's Peter and I'm travelling around Australia road testing campsites. Now before we get right into the show, just a quick reminder, turn your notifications on and if you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button, end of the video, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, totally in your hands. Well I've got a gem for you mate, we're at a place called Kinbombi Falls. Now, if I've pronounced that wrong, sorry. Now, it's around 100 kilometers around, uh, give and take a few k's here and there from Gympie. If you go west, uh, mate, it's a really nice campsite. It's a freebie, which is a good one for me. They've got brand new toilets, which I've got told by some of the locals that they had the older style toilets down the bottom, which I'll show you where the falls are. So I'll show you out through the show. And the campsites are fantastic. Look, it's not a huge campsite. You can fit around maybe 12 k caravans in here and that's pretty squishy and then you've got to start parking out of the park itself but it's a great little campsite a lot of the campsites have got its own fire pits the wood oh, I reckon you could find some wood around here but be careful about snakes around here it is starting to get to the warm weather and the snakes are awake and they want to bite you they want they to, eat, to you. eat you no they don't look they're probably more scared of you than uh you are of them so just keep out of their way and just keep going now look when you come here there is a map that turns around and tells you about the stay of the park just a few basic rules that you have to follow um you've got information centered down the bottom it turns around and tells you a bit about the falls it doesn't give you too much about the falls but it tells you when it, the water is running which I can hear it now, which is a good thing. So it doesn't always run. It only happens when there's a fair bit of rain. So you have to be lucky to come out here when the falls are falling. Now, a bit of a heads up with the actual steps that goes down there. Believe it or not, there's 225 steps. So in other words, you're gonna be walking down 450 steps up and back. Look, it's not for the faint hearted. For the kids and everything else, you just gotta be very careful with them. And people with disabilities, it's not a safe place for you guys to be down there because there's no rails and you can go <whistles> plop and fall off and hurt yourself so just be aware of that look i'm not going to talk too much here now let's get into this campsite and have a look at what do you reckon take a look at this bit of a communal barbecue area look they've got picnic tables here and none of them are undercover so it rains sorry you've got to be in your van but if it's a beautiful night the stars are out the moon's shining the whole lot Mate, it's got even a fire pit in the middle of this thing. So you can all sit around a fire pit. They have got wood barbecues. Look, they're not too bad. You're gonna be a bit of a clean. Look for some wood around the place. And Bob's your uncle, you've got a barbecue. No worries. Let's keep looking at these park. There is a few fire pits all around here. Here's one of them here. It's only a half a tin of a 44 gallon drum. There is a few proper ones around here you can actually use, but if you're gonna have a fire, they like you to have it off the ground. Look, I have seen places that have put rocks around and they've just put a fire. So look, if you put it all out and you cover it all up, make it all back the way you found it, I don't think they're worried about it. It's just the wood you gotta go find now. When you turn up, there's plenty of signs around here that turns around and tells you where the path is to the actual lookout and the waterfalls. Now, if you do go for a walk down to the far south side, there is a couple more tracks down there that will take you to another lookout. Throughout the show, I'll also go down to the waterfall and give you a bit of a look-see. What do you reckon? Rightio, duty grooves. Let's go see these falls. I've just been talking to a couple of locals and they said it's the best that's been at the moment. Let's go have a look at it. One hundred and ninety five, one hundred and ninety six, ninety seven. I'm still going guys, I'm still going down. Look, steps are pretty steep. There's no side rails on here. So look, if you have a bit of trouble with heights and going near cliffs, don't come down. You can go up to the top viewing area, which is magnificent, you can see, but as I do, the shit we do for that shot. 224. 225, ha <laughs> I've made it. When you get down here, there is a bit of a, I don't know, rocks to go down to the swimming area. But as you can see, it's look, it's not that appetizing. I'm looking at all this white floaty stuff around. It might be, um, nah, can't be telly cum, can it? That's only hanging from the telegraph poles, isn't it? <laughs> Bad joke, sorry. But look, when you get down here, 
Look, it's not for the faint-hearted getting down here. There is a few little tracks you can actually follow down the bottom, but there is a lookout. I'll swing it around, ready? Whee! Now, if you look up right behind me up there, there it is. There's another lookout that you can actually see the falls from. Um, that goes up top of the ridge, and you walk along the side there, and you get to that lookout up there. Radio duty groovers. I'm at the face of the waterfall. Look, it's not a huge waterfall, but it's nice. It's quite pretty. Now, at the moment, they've got two waterfalls actually coming. They've got one from this end, which I've just noticed, which is really nice. And you've got the other one, which is the big one, right behind me. Now, look, if you come down here, I wouldn't swim in the water. It does look a bit genky, if that's a word. It doesn't look that appetizing. Look, even on a hot day. Now, I'm looking at the depth of it. That looks deep. I reckon you can jump off there and not even touch the bottom. It's up to you if you want to do that or not, but be a daredevil. Right, a bit of a heads up when you walk down this bit of a track to another lookout. As you can see the track behind me, just be very careful around here. Don't trip, don't fall, don't drop nothing. Ah. Rightio, duty groovers, it's come to that part of the show again. It's all about bins at this place, mate. Seriously, we have to keep these places spick and span. So if you've got any rubbish, whatever, chuck it in the bins. This place has bins and they've got pick up after your dog bags, which is a bonus. At the moment, I just had a look. They are empty. There is some more down near the toilet area. I'll have a check of that and see if they've got any in it. If not, I might just give the council a bit of a heads up and tell them they're a bit out. Oh, you know, that's what we do. Anyway, remember, when you come to a place like this, chuck all your rubbish in the bin. I've got a sticker. I bet you've got a little triangle sticker that says, leave no treats. Right, yeah, the toilet facilities, dunnies, outhouse, shit house. It is totally up to you what you want to call it. Now those toilets, I am very impressed for those toilets to be at this place. It's really a free campsite, it's a bush site. It is really a nice site. Anyway, back to the toilets. The toilets, no hand sanitizer, no paper towel. They are spotless. They've got a baby change table. They've got a wheelchair access toilet, which is a fantastic thing in my book. They're flushing toilets. They've got toilet paper and they've got water on the outside. Straight away, perfect toilet, brand new. It's a fork, mate. I am really impressed with those toilets. Now, the water on the outside, it does say not for drinking purposes, which is understandable. I have looked at the tower that they get the water from. It's all gravity fed, of course, and there's a big dirty ass pipe on the bottom where they pump the water in. Now, I'm thinking they're getting the water from the creek or bore water, whatever. So don't drink the water here. Use it to wash your dishes if you want, but good to wash your hands, which is a bonus. You gotta bring your own hand soap and hand towel. Like I said, they've got none. Good on you, the council. Ba -da -da. Campsites, mate, take a look at this campsite. Look, I'm assuming it, you park your van in there only if you've got a small little van like these guys over beside us. Look, if it is packed, you probably have to do that. But they are big enough to fit, oh, one, two, three, four or five vans in there. Squished, of course. But if you're here by yourself, I won't say nothing. Just take it. Now, I have looked at these sites. The site I'm on at the moment is pretty little. I had to jock my wheels up just around 50 mil on one side, so they are all pretty level around here. Look, if you drive around to a sweet spot, you might turn around and go, Bob's your uncle, bingo, got one. Turn your fridge on, park up, have a coffee, and go have a look at the falls. This place can handle large rigs. It can handle long rigs, so if you've got a big four wheel drive and a big 28 meter, not 28 meters, 28 feet, Caravan, look, these things can fit you in here. They are huge, mate. I'm looking at them. Look, I don't know if they're meant for only one person, but I'm thinking, how are you going to fit two in there with, you know, uh, yeah, they're huge anyway. Rightio, the south end of the park. How cool is this? They've got another little picnic area and another little wood barbie here. When you park around this end, instead of walking all the way up there for your own barbecue, look, more than likely you're gonna have a BBQ or your own barbecue, or a little gas cooker or something, but if you wanna cook a barbie on here, go for your life. They've even got 
a picnic area that you can actually sit on down this end of the park. Oh, sorry, your call can't be completed now. The number you have dialed. Right, as the phone reception. Ugh, mate, I'm lucky. I did get a message, believe it or not. Wow! I got 4G, one bar. Wow, that that's strange. From here, most of the park, I'm only getting 3G, one bar. But down at this end, where I'm parked, 4G! Look, forget about the downloads. The download is going to be non-existent. So don't even think you're going to come out here, upload stuff, download stuff. Eh, eh, not going to happen. I tried a speed test. It didn't even register. I can't even look up Google Maps and find out the distance between here and the next campsite. It just won't load. So look, when you're downloading stuff, do what you need to do before you come in this park. You can take phone calls in here. That's the good thing about it. But it's only a 3G area. Wow, well, I can't really say that because I'm in a 4G area at the moment. Let me have a quick look and see if it's still there. Oh, it's still there, hey? Talk to you soon. Bit of a heads up too. When you go to find a spot, if you want some solar, as you can tell behind me, there are trees everywhere around here. So there's lots of shaded areas. So you really have to pick your spot if you want solar. Now I've picked a spot which has got a big hole in the guts. So I get around between 10 o'clock to around 3 o'clock sun. Uh, maybe not 3 o'clock, maybe 2 o'clock. But I get enough just to trickle in my batteries. So it's all good. No worries. Talk to you soon. Righty, eggs. I hope you like the campsite at King Bommie's Falls. If you like, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, totally in your hands. Don't forget to turn your notifications on and hit that little red button down the bottom. Have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you soon.